Brendan Nash struck his first 100 in the county game as Kent kept themselves on top of Yorkshire on the second day of their LV County Championship match in Canterbury. Having bowled Yorkshire out for 247 on the first day, Kent now set about getting themselves a first innings lead and Scott Newman dominated, scoring 31 out of an opening partnership of 35 with Sam Northeast. Newman was also the first man out as he nicked Ajmal Shazad behind in the 15th over of the innings. Yorkshire's innings had been filled with players getting a decent start but failing to go on, and with Newman following suit, it was now left to Northeast and Ben Harmison to bring an end to that pattern. They worked really hard either side of the lunch break, a time in which it was confirmed that their teammate Matt Coles had been selected for the England Lions squad to face the West Indies in Northampton next month. The news was looking good on the pitch as well as this pair brought up the 100 in the 35th over. But then Northeast, having batted for nearly two and a half hours for his 26, was plumb in front to Shazad's Yorker to depart at 101 for two. Kent's new look top order has, for the most part, performed pretty well so far this summer, and two of their new recruits saw out the next half hour in adding another 24 runs for the third wicket. It was patient four-day cricket from Kent, who were quickly learning from their coach Jimmy Adams that your wicket should not be given away cheaply. Harmison then would have been bitterly disappointed when he played across a ball from Stephen Patterson and was legged before for 43. Yorkshire had just started to claw their way right back into the contest and when Mike Powell edged Ryan Sidebottom to Tim Bresnan, they had Kent on 138 for four. And that became 158 for five when Bresnan trapped Darren Stevens in front on eight. That brought together one of the more intriguing partnerships in the county game in Nash and Geraint Jones. Jones was born to Welsh parents in Papua New Guinea, raised in Australia and has played internationally for both the country of his birth and of course England. He's also been a man of Kent since 2001, this being his benefit season. He's also skippering the side on this occasion and appeared to be enjoying it with these quality shots. Nash, meanwhile, has been a substitute fielder for his native Australia, but has played for the West Indies due to his Jamaican father, as well as Monton and Weast in the Central Lancashire League. All of that experience doubtless helped him to reach his 50, made off 82 deliveries and innings containing seven fours. The partnership between these two was the most attractive of the match. Indeed, 77 runs were added in only 16 overs, with Jones leading the way with a 49 ball 47. His approach had worked until this point when, looking for the boundary to take into his 50, he edged a drive off side bottom to be caught above his head by Gary Balance. Nash ploughed on, however, to put his side ahead. He has a point to prove, of course, with the West Indies due on these shores soon. After 21 tests, he found out about his exclusion from the team via the internet. This innings proved that he would have done rather well in the forthcoming series with England. His first county ton and the tenth of his first-class career arrived before the close with a powerful cut to wide third man. That was his 14th four in an innings lasting 156 deliveries. He had done what all before him couldn't do. And he was still there at the close on 114, and with James Treadwell on 28, he carried his side to 316 for six by the close to lead by 69 runs. Their partnership for the seventh wicket is worth thus far 81, and they will look to add more to that on day three.